can understand cricket. It's simplicity itself. If you understand baseball, you understand cricket. Uh -huh. Well, I thought we were going to play darts. <laughs> the point is, if you really want to learn cricket, then you must learn all the positions. <laughs> You're right. You missed the whole board. Watch this. Silly mid on, silly mid off, mid wicket, square leg, point, backward point, cover, shoulder, extra cover, extra cover, deep extra cover. Mid off, deep mid off, mid on, deep mid on, short leg, short fine leg, deep fine leg, short third man. Right. Then it's third man. Long leg, deep square leg, deep mid wicket, and last not least, long on and long off. Any questions? <coughs> Just one, Ron. You making this up as you go along? <laughs> <laughs> you missed the whole board. Right. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you missed sure. the whole board. You know, I think you've been putting me on, as they say in America. I mean, you are obviously an expert darts champion. Well. I tell you what, let's be sporting. Let's play one final throw, and the loser pays for drinks for the whole place. All right, I'll go for that. I'll go. Off to you. Come on. Thank you. You missed the whole board. <laughs> <laughs> the drinks for everybody, but you got to promise me one thing, that you do some of Fagin for us, huh? David, how can you say that? I mean, I, I, England's full of ancient monuments. You don't have to resurrect well, that one. Come on, do it for our friends. Yeah, no, here. Right. Do it for me and for the friends. Yeah. Now, come on. Well, I couldn't possibly do it anyway because I haven't got any, any makeup. I need makeup. I need, I need whiskers. I need... Oh, don't say anything more. There you are. <laughs> I need a bit of it. I need a beard as well. You can't a do beard. it. Just whiskers. I got, I got it. I got it. I got it licked. <clears throat> Uh, madam, madam, excuse me. Hat, I need a hat. A hat, hat. Bartender. Should you get me a fresh beer, please? Thank you. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Well, I'm afraid you see that um, if this is what you want, it would come out rather worse for you than it would for me, my dear. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Keep this life. One thing counts in the bank. Large amounts. I'm afraid these don't grow on trees. You've got to pick a pocket or two. What is this, an audience or a jury? You don't <laughs> sing the last line of each verse. Madam, you, madam, have you taken a vow of silence? Please, head with the spirit, then, hey, madam. Now, when I go, you've got to pick a pocket or two, boy, you've got to pick a pocket or two, you go, large amounts to go on trees, you've got to pick a pocket or two. Ready? You've got to pick a pocket or two, boy. <laughs> you've got to pick a pocket or two. Pick a pocket or two, you got to pick a pocket or two, boys. Girls? You got to pick a pocket or two. Robin Hood was such a crook, he had 
to kick a puppy dog. Young man, <laughs> don't mind his own business. Are you for chance saving your voice for La Scala Milan? Just like to enter into the spirit of the entertainment. Oh, so when I sing, you've got to pick a puppy dog to boys, you've got to pick a puppy dog to you sing. Robin Hood was such a crook, they can pick a puppy dog too. Right. right. You've got to pick a puppy dog too, boys. You've got to pick a puppy dog too. Me still for five minutes, he sings one line, he tears them up. <laughs> Let us do it together, my good flaxen haired friend. All right. <laughs> to indulge yourselves in public, you filthy beasts. <laughs> Who will I see? Someone rich, both my thumbs start to itch. Only to find some peace of mind, I have to pick a pocket or two, you. Got to pick a pocket or two, Because it doesn't belong to you. <laughs> hey, we got a couple of minutes. You know what I find hard to believe that you, that? you start, you started your career with a bag over your no, head. No, 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 no. It's not a bag. Mm. It's a mask. It was a kind of a hood. <laughs> It's a very nice looking Come mask, on. and I never ever took it off. Mm. I called myself, and get this, I called myself the Covered Man. <laughs> it's true, I had this idea. Yeah, yeah. Well, if I wore this mask, you see, I would de-emphasize uh, what I looked like. Yeah. And people would listen to the music. Did it work? Absolutely not. <laughs> All I did was to arouse people's curiosity. Uh -huh. People thought I was everything from Mayor Lindsay trying to break into show business to uh, Bob Dylan trying to sing. <laughs> All they wanted to know was what was under that mask. They begged me, sir. Please take off the mask, take off the mask. So finally, I couldn't stand the suspense anymore, and I took the mask off. What did they say? Uh oh. Friends of mine. <laughs> Taking my studio time. <laughs> okay, let's try Dowdy Ferry. Great. How you Great. Been? Thank you. Now you want to get you and your stuff out of here? You've taken enough of my studio time. Oh, come on, man. Well, they said you weren't doing anything interesting anyway. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Thanks a lot, Dick. That's the word. I'll tell you what. We'll make it up to you. How's that? If you can play that thing, we'll let you play with the big boys. Oh, 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 oh. Well, you know anything I can play? Hmm? We know everything, baby. Question is, can you play anything? <laughs> All right, how about little Willie Nelson? Ah, how about blue right. eyes? Blue eyes. How about the key of G? Well, as luck would have it, it happens to be my key. Are you tuned? Oh, I need a little help. Sure, I got it.
involved with about three careers. So the time we, look at this. <laughs> so the time that oh, we spend together is really me. special to us. So we try to save it for things that are special. Like what? Well, oh, down home things mostly. Horses, skiing, tennis. Potted plants. Potted plants, <laughs> old clothes. When you get right down to it, it only takes three things to make David happy. And they really? Are. It's mm -hmm. gonna be good, mm -hmm. honey. Ah, uh, the out of doors. That's one. Mm -hmm. Quiet life. And, and the third? A very special lady to share them with. <laughs> Surreal. Wow. 
cut up the chili pepper. Squeeze that garlic spare. One mouthful of dripping. And a granddaddy onion and well, well, well. Soup don't lie, don't lie, lie. Well, all I want is black bean soup. And you just sing it with me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, love, love will stay. Well, you're living for me. All I want is black bean soup. And you just sing it with me. 
<laughs> hey, I gotta go. Lynn, David, thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Same here, Dick. It's really been a pleasure. And there is one thing that other people on specials do that I definitely want to do. I want to thank all my friends, the singers and the players, uh, Ron Moody, Donna Summer, England Dan and John Ford Coley, the kids from Millfield Children's Home, you. Mm -hmm. And you, too. Is that okay if I do that? Well, I think you already did. You see. Oh. Thank you. The David Soul and Friends special was brought to you by Pentel. When you write, draw, color, draft, or mark, remember Pentel, a quality name in writing instruments. And by Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, the most original soft drink ever. Driving around with nice, what's their cash? Donnie and Marie salute.